Um, today I'm going to paint a statue. This is a ceramic statue that I found at a wholesale gift place and um, I wanted to start pouring over certain objects. I put it on a spinner so that as I'm pouring I'll be able to get the different angles without touching it while I'm pouring. The first thing I have to do is to clean it so that there are no um, oil residues from touching it with your fingers. So I've got rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to go over this statue and clean it real good. The next thing I want to do is I want to prop it up. I'm going to put my gloves on because I just cleaned it. I don't want the oil from my fingers on it. So I'll go ahead and get the gloves on. But I want to prop this up so that the paint drips down. Let's see if I can position this properly. sure that holes isn't going to fall. There we go. I think that's good. All right, so the paint's going to drip down here and on here. I actually have my spinner covered with uh, saran wrap, so that's good. Now, I want to go over the colors that I've mixed for this. Um, I have a copper this is all acrylic paint that I put a acrylic binder in each one so that it binds to this. I have, a, these are all metallics. So this is a pearl metallic. This is pewter. I mixed copper. And this is actually a bright copper. This is a gold. I'm going to use that. I'm actually going to use this one as well. This was a teal. Okay. And silver. So I have all of these paints already mixed and ready to pour. So I'm going to take off. Um, I mixed these about an hour ago. I want to make sure the bubbles are out of them. and that it's the right consistency. And that looks good to me. It drips right off and goes into a puddle when you drop it. So that one's good. So I'm gonna get all of these off so I can just pour. I'm checking the consistency. Okay, that looks good. The object is to cover the whole thing. Um, I have some other statues that I'm only going to be dripping down, but this one I want to cover. And I'm thinking of doing what they call a dirty cup pour. And that is where you take a cup just going to take this and I'm going to, I think I'll start with white. Pearl, actually. You put a little down here.
Okay, this is gonna, I'll do it in sections and I'll be pouring more because I want different color schemes going on. So let's just start with this part here. See how this part is different than that part. It's the way you pour it.
lovely. show you a close-up. I really love the metal colors with the teal in this and I love the design in it. The effects that came out are pretty cool. Turn this around. I love this part here. Sorry, the lighting isn't the greatest. Look at this. Look at that. You see what I'm talking about? If you just pour a certain way down, it does this. But if you swirl it as you're pouring, it does that. So um, I have different effects going on, kind of a marbly look there. It was uh, difficult to get complete coverage because of the angles, but very doable. I hope you enjoyed watching. Very pretty.